Hello people. This is just a quick message. So for all you spiritual warriors out there, peaceful warriors, those that are awakened in a number of ways, including to what you are. Your original self, your essence self, your soul, your spirit, your heart. Which is the life force having a experience through this flesh suit and these five senses. And we've been here many times before. There's many different things. Well, that spirit life force in me is here this time around where they volunteered for a reincarnation or whatever randomly selected to be a spiritual warrior to be a peaceful warrior so what is that? I believe a peaceful spiritual warrior is someone that is supposed to endure hardship pain, suffering for lessons to be learned for attributes to be developed as a result of this pressure is where the growth is the growth lies in discomfort anyone that's had a very comfortable life everything just given to them they have no appreciation for what they've got absolutely not spoiled little fuckwit who can't enjoy any hardship you need to know hardship to know good times so I believe a spiritual warrior is here to know hardship to endure right. and that's not to say that there's no moments of beauty of course there is they just need to be looked for and they need to be treasured when found. So, everything that we need to get through this time is within us. I believe that. And I believe that as a spiritual warrior, light worker, call it what you like, that's here to be of service to others. Now, that may have been to help others wake up, or that may have been here just to be reassurance for those that are struggling but it may indeed be to help those to wake up and realize what they actually are within and that we are here simply to have an experience and our source creator at least that life experience through us is non biased as to what that experience will be because we've got free will to choose, which means we've got free will to make mistakes and fuck up, and we do. And that's when the endurance comes, when the lessons are learned. But there's gold within that. Really, true awakening comes to the point when you realize that you are indeed a part of everything that was just fragmented now believes it's totally alone and on its own but the realization I believe of true awakening however many past lives that takes is to realize that you are the you are all the same you are all from one thing and you potentially go back and so maybe as a light worker or as a spirit spiritual warrior peaceful warrior someone that is somewhat enlightened has discovered Satori enlightenment at least on a start level I make absolutely no assumptions or presumptions or statements that say in that I've met my spiritual summit absolutely not I'm on the journey still learning but I'm learning more every day for those 
very unkind people that have come on this channel before and said he's not spiritually awakened he's just bullshitting he's not this, he's not that they're those that are just affected by what I say offended by what I say because it shakes their own belief systems be it religious or even atheists or whatever it is they believe it shakes they don't like that so they look for a reason to ridicule me any reason doesn't really matter <laughs> and that just shows their weakness because they'll watch my clips and then they'll write almost a thousand word essay about how I'm not this I'm not that and I'm wrong and whatever it shows that they've put the energy into replying that long that they're affected by whatever it is I've said. In short, you know, if you're showing that much, much interest in what I do and it's not for you, then <laughs> bitch, you're a fan. To those people, I say, I hope you find your way. You know, clearly it don't bother me what anyone thinks. I can give a poor grammar fuck, I never have. But if it helps someone, any of these clips help someone, then that's good. It's, it's part of your job as being here now to help others. Whether it's just to get through a day, whether it's just to get through a moment. But I believe, for those of you that are awakened and enduring, that's all purposeful. You're supposed to learn these lessons. And they're supposed to give you strength. So take solace in that. But what there also is, uh, there's, there's like a, a toolbox, a spiritual toolbox box for us to implement. So imagine that you're in a game and you're enduring through this so-called adventure and you're suffering hardships. Well, at certain places in the game, you'll pick up energy, you know, coins for energy or boxes for energy or food or fruit for energy, things for to help you prosper. There's bonus things that you can pick up. Well, if you actually look, there's plenty. So start by this, right? Even though you, you may feel like you are enduring, play the gratitude game. So when you wake up in the morning, you're here another day. Many would have died and not made it through the night, but you're here. It deserves a smile. Give gratitude for that. Give gratitude to your source creator for your life, for the people in your life, for the roof over your head if you have one, for the food on your table if you have some, for the money in your pocket, for the vehicle that you drive, for the resources that you have. Give gratitude for everything that your creator bestows upon you. Because the more you give gratitude, the more it seems to come to you, just in my experience. Next, play the, the treasure hunt game. So the treasure hunt game is being still and recognizing moments in the now that are beautiful. So, okay, people might say, well, you, you know, you live in the new forest and you're out every day in it. And yes, I am, and I'm very great, grateful for that. But that's not how it was, I'm a city boy all my life. Two years before all this bullshit, I was 10 years in the city. I'm fucking glad I ain't there. Very grateful. And if I was, I'd still strive to find those moments, whether it's in a park, in a garden, on your balcony, <laughs> whatever the fuck. You know, find those moments out in nature, yes. But you can find those moments in a book, in a conversation, in a moment, a thought. So what do I mean? So, I saw a horse the other day, there's loads of horses around it. It just lied down, rolled on its back, trying to itch something. <laughs> it had a silly little, a silly little grin on its face, but it looked so funny. Uh, satisfied, getting a satisfied scratch face. It was just a nice moment. You know, made me smile. You know, that's a nice sunset. It's beautiful. before yesterday, looking up at the full moon. It's really low where I was. 
It was a beautiful moment. Yesterday I went up to Glastonbury to the tour where I went last year in the winter solstice. Where literally three days later, the 24th, so when my third eye opened, I was awakened to many things. But the actual idea of the third eye decrystallizing in an opening. And ever since then, when I used to shut my eyes in the dark at night, I would see it clearly. But that's evolved. I can shut my eyes at any time and I see this like northern lights, green hazy eye right in the centre of my forehead, like it's projected from the back of my skull to the front. Doesn't matter if I put my hands over my eyes or what I put over my head, I can see it. And it moves, it's like energy just moving. So they say to you, there's no empty space. So the space between me and that tree over there now, I'm about 10 feet. It's not empty space that it looks like, it's energy that I can't see. And it's like when I close my eyes, what I see is what I believe that looks like. And what I believe that is, is the source energy that we are made of. And that is everything around us is made of. That's what I say, you know, you are it, it is you. You are part of everything that is, ever has been and ever will be. Well, what is that? Well, to me, that's the source energy that created us. So that's God. So God's within me. And you, and we're within it. Since that time, one year ago almost, in two days, my spiritual awakening has taken ups and downs, become very questionable at times. Made me wonder if I'm going fucking mad at times. But I kept going with it, as I recommend you do. And I was not coerced by others negative opinion and I noticed that many left and I also noticed that I met many people you know, have a circle of people around me that's your soul tribe when you find them you want to look after them anyway once a week I tend to uh, get together and talk Not zoom kind of thing and we call it like soul school, soul dojo if you like, where yeah. we get together and talk about things without any inhibitions. So you can just be free to speak and let your like mindedness be shared. Because if you're on your own in your circle, you probably had those doubts about yourself if you're going mad. But it's a lonely place to be when you're awake and everyone around you isn't. But I'm fortunate playing the gratitude game brought these people to me and we share a lot and it helps but you know just going down the shop going to do anything going to do some exercise I just want to see the beauty in it Find the moments of treasure that are within that. And a good way to do that is to imagine that the what you're doing, you were never going to do again. Whether that's take a walk through the woods, whether that's going to do a bit of retail therapy, spend your slow tokens, whether that's going to work out, whether that's walk your dog, whether that's talk to someone you care about, whether that's a family greeting, meeting. Imagine you were never going to do it again. It was taken away from you. Either because you were not here no more, or it was just a yet another freedom that was taken from you. And you are no longer allowed to do that again. Imagine that just for a minute. Well, if you could imagine that you never had something again, and when you next spend time with it, you'd be there and recognise what it is you like about it, what it is you miss about it. But they're the moments of beauty that you should treasure. So, what I'm saying is, this period of time, especially when you're striving to remain strong for others, which, you know, I believe 
for those that don't like your mess, your job is not about you anymore. It's about you being a service to others in some way. And you've got to endure. But if it's all about endurance, what's the fucking point? And it really isn't. Because if you look around you, you'll find moments of beauty. So what I recommend to you is that you play the gratitude game every day. Vocalise it. Feel it. Send it outward from your heart. And you see what comes back. It gives you a real sense of well-being. And then recognise the treasure that's around you. Because both of those two things are tools for the spiritual warrior and allowing for her to endure. <laughs> Have a nice Christmas. Doesn't really um, mean to me what it used to. But nonetheless, it's a nice time to be with those you care about. Be joyful and grateful. So enjoy yours. And uh, stand tall, remain stoic. And whatever comes, we will get through it. Peace.